What up folks, it's your man Angie on Double G, hitting with a brand spanking new album review. That's right, we got a brand new joint from the man, Canadian MC, 14 tracks. This dude is inspired by Ray Charles, Tupac and Badu, none other than the man himself, RTC Prophet. He's got a brand new album, it's called Persona Non Grata. That's Latin for an acceptable or unwelcome person. We're gonna jump right into this album and we're gonna start with number one, it's called Genesis. It's featuring an artist called Zaire Inc. If I mispronounce that, just correct me in the uh, comment section. But this one starts off with this gospel sample and it goes into this clean mix of this marching drum beat with some uplifting chords and some progressions in the background. Prophet comes in with this choppy flow. Then he has some throaty vocal deliveries and his confidence is on the up. He runs across this track using this voice almost like a drum instrument and he's talking about being a changed man coming a long way and um, fighting his demons it has this bridge right before the beat completely switches and goes into these vocal harmonies and it has some Rhodes keys in there or something and some spoken word before it progresses into this bouncy 808 beat with some bright chopped samples and my favorite bar in there is when he says from the bottom to the top it's a better view it's really simple but it really hits overall I dig this one I'm loving the intro vibes, but the second beat definitely draws you in a little bit more along with the clarity of his voice. Then we happen to the second track. This one is called Higher Learning. This one starts off with some movie samples. It's over this somber piano beat and it has some dark tones to it with this unique sounding drum pattern and some cinematic buildup in the back with some deep bass synthesizers. RTC, he comes in with this machine gun flow. He has this unique confidence to his voice and he's riding the beat crazy with some highlight moments and he's talking about recognizing his inner strength and building on it. It sounds like it could be this scary movie vibe with maybe some wavy rap vibes to it too. My favorite part is when he says, you got a gift my nigga, don't put it to waste. Overall, this one's got a unique feel and the flow pockets are pretty impressive. Moving right along, we hop into track number three. This one is called Cold Game. And man, this one starts off with some choir samples over some emotional chord progressions. Then some hard 808s come in with this trap beat and it has this banger type feel to it. Prophet, he fires off with a different voice from the previous track. He has this melodic flow. He's talking about growing up and dealing with pressure and executing things flawlessly. He has this rapid delivery and he's mentioning um, his mother's pain too. It sounds like it could be this pain rap with this energetic bounce and it has some sentimental elements to it. My favorite part is where he says, gotta play and we execute it flawless. Overall, this one it gave me the goosebumps and it might be my favorite one so far sliding right along we get into number four this one is called tkfp this one starts with some dark piano loops it goes into these running keys with some hard thumping 808s and it has this dope swing to it with some breathable moments and it has these drops that let the track shine rtc comes in with this fast rap bouncing off the melody and the beat before it even hits it's like the seamless flow with this great energy and some cool metaphors with some clever bars it sounds like it could be this tempo bounce with this vibe that makes you want to speed on a highway maybe my favorite part in there is when he said i made an angel bite the dust then i'm pcp <laughs> i'm not too sure i got that but if i did get that line i think he's saying he's peace p like profit i don't know i might be thinking too much into it let me know what you think in the comments overall this one i really dig the flow and the beat on this one i added it to my favorites immediately then we get into track number five this one's called clockwork this one, it starts off with this up-tempo vibe. It goes into some bright keys with some electronic punchy drums. And it has these bass slides with this dial tone type of melody in the background with some cool progression. My dude, he shoots off with this fun flow. It has a uh, Beanie Man reference in there. He has this choppy delivery. He's using his voice like a percussion, again, with the confident delivery. And it sounds like it could be maybe a festival song with some futuristic themes to the instrumentation. My favorite part is when he says, they sleeping on me youngin, snapped them out of the hypnosis cause you know they gonna be sick when I pull up in a Lotus. Overall, this one sounds crazy. It might be too different for some people when it comes to the beat, but I fuck with it heavy. The next track is number six. This one is called Still Shining. And this one, it starts off with some crazy woodwind synthesizers and it has this Middle Eastern elements to it with some modern day 808s and trap perks. It has this hard rhythmic bounce to it and Prophet comes in with this bouncy flow. It progresses into this double time flow that bounces in and out of the pockets effortlessly. He's showcasing his breath control, his ability to switch into multiple syllables and slower deliveries, talking about doubling his dollars and having a vision and improving his folks' lives. My favorite part on this one is when he says all these cats be talking crazy but we know they not though it sounds pretty cool with the delivery and it's kind of playful and it makes you want to repeat it overall this one is a slapper and it has some impressive rap delivery we then slide in to number seven this one is called how that go i've heard this one before this one it starts off with this r&b type of melody it has some road chords in there over some easy going trap drums with some smooth bass lines then it has some afro-caribbean percussion in there prophet he comes in with the smooth delivery he's matching the beat again with multiple 
Cooper flows. He's hitting the pockets like his voice is an instrument and he's giving us some humble swag talk. My favorite part is when he says, finesse and blessing since my adolescence. Some cool wordplay and clever syllables. Overall, this joint has a great feel to it for relaxing and maybe you wanna sip on your favorite cocktail to this one. We hop into number eight. This one's called Double Up and it's featuring Vic Spencer. This one starts off with some dope harp light samples. It has these chops in there with some cool consistent hip hop beats that makes you feel like it's gonna be a freestyle and it drops at the perfect moments for the bridge hook. And RTC leads in with the first two verses with this East Coast type of flow. He's hitting the beat perfectly with some cool wordplay. He talks about handling his business, not being new to it, creating more opportunities. Vic comes in with the third verse. He has this cool voice that's piercing through the track with this undeniable presence. It sounds like it's a bit menacing and it kind of reminds me of MF Doom. Maybe he's influenced by him. My favorite part is when he says, I'm better than everything you could imagine smoking woods in the cabin. I thought that was pretty fly and it had some cool imagery to it overall. I love this minimal beat and the guest verse did the damn thing. Passing the midway mark of the album, we get into number nine. This one is called Lay Low, and it starts with some electric elements. It goes into these hard southern drums with some spooky melodies and some upbeat bass lines. RTC comes in with this conviction and convincing choppy flow with some strong chord structure. There's this cool beat riding over the pianos, and he talks about paying his dues, overcoming failure, motivating his folks, and it sounds like something Lil Baby or Lil Wayne might hop onto. My favorite line is when he says, you know it's my time, set the clocks now. Overall, this one, it's another banger. It has this motivational feel to it. It, and I did add it to my favorites. The next track is number 10. We get into this track, it's called Connect. It starts off with some dark, eerie, deep keys panning from the earphones left to right. He has some heavy bass synths in there and it's easy going with some hand clap snares. RTC, he comes off with this fun, bouncy flow talking about double crossing, a lack of foundation, shrugging his haters off and haters wanting to see his downfall. He's talking about grinding all his life too and it sounds like it could be this West Coast banger type of beat and I can definitely see some choreography to this. I can definitely see some choreography to this. Song. My favorite line in there is when he says, you read what you sow and you give him what you earn. It's pretty simple, but it hits home. Overall, this joint has some dope cruising on the block during the weekend type of vibe, and I'll definitely play it again. We're creeping up on the end of this album. As we get into the last slap, we're on track number 11. This one is called King Me. It starts off with these distorted Latin jazz samples. It sounds like it's Buena Vista Social Club, and it has the Spanish percussion on top of the upbeat rhythms and grooves. RTC Prophet, Man, he's a skilled MC and he attacks this track with the chorus before the verse talking about improving his finances, making moves, reminiscing on the harder times, his family, and being ambitious. And it sounds like it could be like some Puerto Rican music with this fun, up-tempo rap beat. My favorite part in there is when he says, Ben Brolic, I ain't even got a flex though. Overall, I'm digging the sample, tough in the rap, but pretty fun to follow. Boom, we're on number 12 now. This one is called No More To Say. This one, it starts with some heavy bass dance beats that goes into these trap drums with some panning instrumentation effects and it has some stabbing melodies in there in the background with this competitive atmosphere. My dude, he comes in commanding your ear with his presence and he has a certain bounce to his pronunciation, giving us some cool talk. It's pretty playful and relatable and it has some repeatable moments. Now he's talking about noticing some good looking chicks and his flow runs on the beat like he's a veteran. It sounds like it could be some dochi type stuff with this underlying Punjabi type of rhythm. My favorite part in there is in the opener when he says, hey nigga, tell me what it is. Shorty, tell me where it's at. And I also like the Fibonacci bar. Overall, this one, it might be great for the gym or other activities that get you pumped. Rolling into the next one. This one is called The Last Dance and it's number 13. It starts off with some Spanish guitar samples and it has some bright, feel good melodies to it. In comes these hard 808s and trap perks with some hand claps over some sporadic background strings. And it has the standout melody with some deep bass synthesizers. Prophet, he comes in with his signature flow, which he's been giving us across the entire project. And he's talking about feeling like Michael Jordan in The Last Dance and hustling for his brothers. He has this Freddie Gibbs type of feel to it. And it kind of reminds me of the Migos when it comes to the beat. My favorite part is when he says, bet on myself, then I cashed in. Overall, I fucking love this track. It makes me feel good and I'm happy to find this song. Closing the album, we come to number 14. This one is called Balance. And it starts with some dark synthesizers over some vocally distorted singing. And it has this epic atmosphere feeling to it with some tribal hand drumming and progressions to the instrumentations, which add this emotional theme to it. 
it's over some speeches in the background and it also has these strings prophet comes in with some triumphant deliveries he's talking about escaping his demons the lockdown returning being motivated for change and it sounds like it could be the ending to a movie with some passionate rapping my favorite line in there is when he says what i'm saying progression be the only route overall this track is a perfect closer i wasn't too crazy about it musically but i appreciate it in the sequence of the album yo so there we have a 14 brand new track from rtc prophet the canadian mc and overall this joint man it has a unique sound to it he has a unique voice with the signature flow he's coming off effortlessly on most of these tracks with the seasoned delivery he's got a great ear for beats and he has this no nonsense and motivational theme to his music with this honesty and conviction and it seems like he's the type of artist who's going to evolve consistently i would like to hear more collabos from him and maybe some variations of his voices but Man, he really paired well with the instrumentals on this album and the guest verse from Vic Spencer, it was right on the mark and it left a really great impression on me and made me a bigger fan. I saved over 10 songs to my favorites and I really felt like these tracks were the album highlights. Cold Game, King Me, The Last Dance, How That Go, and Double Up. I'm giving this one a solid A grade, classes in session. Awesome job, man. Thanks for putting your heart into your music and uh, I look forward to hearing more from you in the evolution. Folks, let me know what you think of this album, like the video, comment your thoughts, and share with your fellow music enthusiasts. Let me know what you'd like to hear from me on the next review, and I'll catch you folks on the flip. It's your man, Angion Double G. This has been another review. This is your boy, RTC Prophet, Persona Non Grata. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Guadalajara.